Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Metroid Dread. So, let's get started. New profile. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for, for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises. Uh, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. That's because of us. Playing as Samus. Ex-Parasite. A gelatinous parasitic organism, indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infest in infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. Ex-parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an in instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. With no Metroids surviving on SR388, it became infested with the ex-horrifying -para uh, ex parasites, capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. The only thing that saved me was the vaccine created from Metro DNA, which also left me uh, uniquely able to oppose the, e the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biotic space laboratories. Bi biologic space laboratories. BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. There, I uh, battled many powerful X forms, including the SA X, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated, eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious voice video transmission. It showed an X, alive in, and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If, X, if the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven uh, EMI, e -M -M -I, to investigate. An EMI is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their, their DNA. Their incredible mobility and product, uh, protective plating, made, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost.
What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Okay, that background looks very Chozo in design. After just battling Chozo, I guess that's not really that crazy. We can move around with the left stick. We can aim up if we use the aim in that direction with the left stick. Or just, you know, point in that direction with the left stick. Ah, uh, but I think, oh, there's probably a better way to aim. Yeah, if we hold down the left stick, we can aim properly without actually moving at all. Uh, holding down R, I believe, switches to rockets, which means that when we shoot by pressing, uh, no, not that one, Y, press Y to shoot in a direction, but if we switch, uh, to rockets, or missiles, that's the one, by pressing, holding down R, we can then shoot those, which they are a lot stronger than our regular shots, so... Well, so apparently we can do a little dive, dive roll. 
Oh, I guess that's into a little spin. If we so, if you stand still and jump, you'll just jump normally. But if you're moving and jump, you'll spin, which is important to know for later on. Uh, but I guess if you're moving, or if you're not moving and jump, but then press the jump button again, you'll go into a little spin. That's interesting. This game seems to set up the atmosphere of this area so well, starting off. Uh, now, I don't know which way to go, so let's go this way. Hang on, we need to use rockets on this door. No, we don't. We can't do that yet. No, mind, I'm just crazy. I thought I could do that, but I guess not. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's take out this enemy. I'm going to have to get used to pressing the Y button to shoot, because I don't think that's what I normally have that set to in... Super Metroid, which it's been too long since I last played, played Super Metroid. Uh, we could also have X to counter strike, which we can also do a little running attack if we're moving and press X at the same time. But that'll be good for hitting things back if we need to. Also, I believe when you jump spin, you actually jump higher than you would normally. Possibly? Might be wrong about that. But anyway, I know that's what it was in Super Metroid. While tilting left to run, press ZL to slide. Cool. That's useful. We already know how to aim because I have to check every button before anything else happens. So we can shoot this up here. And we can continue up. Can't go through that door there yet. Ow. Just gotta take that out. If we use a rocket, we've only got 15. We can see how many we have at the top of left of the screen. We also have the map on the top right of the screen, which is useful. We also have on the other on on the uh, what's it called on the top right of the screen. We also have the E, which is energy, which, which we have 99. That's our health. So if we get hit by something, that will go down. Uh, but there's those purple orbs that we get from enemies if we kill them that will uh that will uh increase bring our health back up to 99 slowly as we get them the bigger the purple orb the more we get so but anyway this statue here allows us to recharge uh missiles i believe so i'm just gonna hang on wrong button that one it's a bit slower to also use the missiles as well but we can use this statue to refill like that and there we go. This is gonna take some getting used to. So, let's go up this way. Hold R to ready missiles. We can also hold down to crouch, which is good to know. Some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. So yeah. Also, certain blocks can be broken with only certain things. So this one with the missile icon can only be broken with missiles. The white ones that we saw before can only... Well, they can be destroyed by any shot. But they will respawn, just like every other other block, I guess. But So if we shoot this wall here, it'll show that we need something else to break the upper block. But we can actually break the lower block. We have to find something to actually break that with later on, I guess. So... Let's just go through there. Oh, careful. Let's go through this door since we can actually open this. Uploading data. So, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. 
This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Okay, we can save our progress. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can open these doors. I'm just crazy. I don't know. I don't think... Well, I didn't should... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just keep going. I'll have to come back. See, this one's not opening. But if I bet... No, missiles didn't do anything. That's, the, that's why I was wondering if I needed missiles to open those, some of those doors. Oh, hello. Use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X to use your melee counter now. So like that, and then we can we aim automatically and we can just press Y to shoot. Parry enemy attacks with a melee counter by pressing X at the right moment. Also, ah! Hang on. So whenever you, you, the right timing comes up, there'll usually be a flash or something. But also, if we are in a spin as we jump to, at a wall and then press the opposite direction and then press jump again, uh, we'll do a wall jump, which is important to know, so we can just do it like that. Actually, can I? How easy is that to do? That's actually a lot easier because you don't actually have to press anything, you just press the jump button. That's a lot easier than it was in Super Metroid, but I like the way it worked in Super Metroid. Oh my goodness. Messed that up, but that's okay. Also, I don't think I mentioned earlier, but we can actually grab onto the sides of ledges if we aren't quite there at the right level. Come on. There we go. This is definitely going to take some getting used to. Ow. Ow. Okay, so some enemies you can counter and some you can't. Only the ones that flash, I guess. It's a good thing there's plenty of health stuff being given to us at the moment. There we go. Take you out. Good amount of health from you. I don't think we can reach up there at the moment. So we're going to just have to go up this way for now. Just going to take this thing out if I can. Now, if we press the plus, we can pause the game and look around on the map. Which is helpful because we can see doors that we can go through. Rooms that we've been in. Also, ammo recharges. And we can also, if we... Hang on, how do I zoom in? ZR and ZL, okay. For zoom in, zoom out. We can also see the blocks that we can break and... Uh, so we, we can see the blocks that we can break. And also what, if we highlight it, it will actually tell us what we need to open it. So, at the moment this is question mark, question mark, question mark underneath the percentage that we have of this area. But anyway, uh, so this door won't tell us what to do. Yeah, okay, cool. Same with that one. But this is useful. We can also go to the mission log, which will help us, I, I'm assuming, remember what we've been up to recently, if we haven't played for a while. We'll also go to the tutorials to see how to play, since we might forget that as well. We can also look at Samus, using the left and right buttons to change which screen this is. Uh, and see what upgrades we have, which we don't have a lot at the moment since we lost everything, apparently, in that thing. But anyway, we can use the A button to check how to use the stuff that we have unlocked, so that is useful. Let's look at the power suit to see what it looks like. But anyway, that is all that for now, so let's just go up here. We can't do whatever this is at the moment. Uh, press X while running to execute powerful dash melee. Unlike other melee, counters the dash melee will damage the enemy. That's interesting. So we can actually do some damage with that. Now let's just go through here. I, there's a lot of buttons to figure out. Well, where am I? 
Oh, hey. If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that there is uh, a hidden item in there. So yeah, this white square around this area that's glowing now is showing that there's a hidden item here that we can get, so... We probably just want to shoot as many things as possible to try and find it, but it's up here, so... Works for us. This is a missile tank, which means that we get two more missiles to our maximum total. So now we have 17 out of 17. And now the thing on the map is gone, and we can't really get through here anymore, which is a shame, but that's okay. Because we need to keep going this way. Ah, falling. The enemy has lost control, and we need to counter at the right moment, which was going to tell us. And we can also slide underneath it to get away from it. Now we need to run as fast as possible, because it is after us right now, and I don't want to die. Go. Go. Oh, I can't get up because it's broken. That's convenient for us, because we cannot kill it. So let's just go this way. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into a, an omega cannon. Omega blaster online. Hold L to aim, use aim mode, tilt left to aim. If a target is nearby, Samus will automatically face that direction. Oh, that's interesting. Hold R to change, to change the omega blaster, or charge the omega blaster. Once charged, press Y while still holding R to fire. Aim at the core. So we want to aim- oh my goodness, that's very, very finicky, but that's okay. Probably worth holding the uh, left stick all the way to the direction they are aiming. So we want to aim at that and then press Y to fire. I'm pretty sure we can also- no, I guess not. Okay. Let's head over this way. And if I'm not mistaken- oh, I might be mistaken. Oh, it's not here anymore. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Ah, I'm dead. And it's that easy to get a game over in this, by the way. <laughs> because you need to counter at the right time, otherwise those things will instantly kill you. Let's try that again. You can also see Emmys as red dots on the mini-map. Or on the regular map, I guess. Where am I? Okay, here. Well, that is good, because... I'm still getting used to the controls. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong here. Ah! I'm not supposed to go through the door. I just- I can't see it, so it- Ah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. You're not supposed to run through the door. You're just supposed to activate it. Wish I didn't have to charge that up for so long, wow. Okay, so we go over here. Okay. And we want to aim at its face and charge, please. I should have charged the whole time. Ah! I should be charging for a lot longer than that, oh my goodness. It's a learning experience, a learning experience. I haven't played this before. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I don't like that I have to destroy this door every time, but I guess it's it's a good reminder of how I'm supposed to do this, so. Okay, charge up, and fire! At its face. We can absorb its energy just like we did with the thing in the previous room. Okay, Omega Cannon is depleted and offline, reverting to regular Arm Cannon. 
Well, that's a shame. But that Emmy's gone now, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Luckily. Hey, that opened. That didn't open before, did it? Maybe I'm crazy. Now, let me... Let me explore a little bit, because I don't know... What I can do and what I sh... I, I, I guess I know which way I should go, but I want to go back this way and see if I can do anything... Now. Since I think... The arm cannon is now stronger, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Because that's not opening, so maybe... Maybe not. It might still be good, though, to... Oh, I can't reach that. I was hoping to save up there, but that's okay. Now, I think also with this enemy, we can also just... Ow. We can also just ow. Oh, I'm low in health. That's not good. Ah. That's what happens when you run out of energy. You just die. But that's a lot slower than just dying to an enemy instantly. Okay. Let me try, try this again. Where am I? Where am I now, please? Okay, I'm back up here. That's probably good because I wasn't supposed to go down, and I. It's gonna be a lot faster to go up from here now. I guess that door only opens from one side, so that's why that's open now. And now the only way to go is this way. I think this is a save room. It's a really cool looking save room. Save progress. Yes, please. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, hello. I don't think I can shoot that from here, can I? No. I can get rid of this monster before it has a chance to get me. That red, uh, thing that we just collected from the enemy is the missile refill. If I haven't mentioned already, I, was, I think I was trying to say that earlier and forgot to finish my thought. But anyway, um, we can't head up there because we can't jump as high when we're in water. So let's shoot that, break that open. Let the water out. Now we should be able to jump up there. And this is a door, believe it or not. But it's a it's a special kind of door. Because by entering it, we enter a zone. You know what the bad thing about being in a zone is? It's a... Well, well, we'll find out. Also, quickly, when we're on the map, we can actually place markers. So let me zoom in, please. I don't like how I can't zoom in with the control stick. It feels like I should be able to do that. Also, apparently, right stick is supposed to be fast. Oh. Oh. So if we're moving with left stick and then press down right stick, we can move faster. Okay, that's good to know. But if we press A while on the map, we can actually place a marker. So we can remember things if we need to. And we can also remove it. I'm assuming that if we have that marked though, we can actually see where we need to go. On our mini-map as well, possibly. Even if we're too far away to actually see it on the mini-map. Possibly? Yeah, we can actually see a little arrow pointing up there. Okay, we can't go through there. Can't go through there, but I believe we need to go up here. So let's do that. And the thing about being in a zone... ...is that it's an Emmy zone. A place where the Emmys roam. And we're in trouble, so... We kind of need to be stealthy in enemy zones and try to avoid them if we can. Oh my goodness, get out of here, please. Shoot that. Oh, faster, need to go 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 faster. Which way am I going? This way, please. So if we need to, we need to find another Emmy door so we can get out of here, please. Oh, please, oh, please. We have, and if we get into a spot like this, we want to try and loop it if we can. Oh, get up there, get up there, oh, I... Ah, I didn't even counter it. It gives you... This Emmy, at least, gives us time to actually counter it so that it doesn't kill us. And we can run away from it for a little bit. Oh my goodness, let's try that again. I'm feeling confident. 
Okay. Come on. Go faster. Go faster. It's getting close. 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 Just go down. Go up. Now I need to make sure I get this. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Why can't I go up there? Oh, I need to go down here. Just go. Just go. Oh, my goodness. Go through the Emmy door. Oh, that was lucky because the Emmy door was closed because the Emmy was too close to it. Oh, my goodness. I'm fine. Anyway. You want to try and loop the Emmys if you can. And with that one, I, I couldn't get through the hole because I was supposed to slide under. And I didn't realize that. Immediately. I need to get faster reflexes. But there we go. Now we know how it feels to be Metro dreading things, I guess. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.